Hi everyone, this is Hans from Tundra Feed and Supply Company. Let's look into how we can change our in-game cursor icon in Godot 4. Alright, so right now we're in a basic 2D scene here. I have a test button here in the center of our scene so that we can see where our cursor uh, is actually activating buttons beneath it. So there are two ways that we can change our cursor icon in Godot 4. We can do that programmatically, though we can also do it through the project settings. So initially, let's go ahead and look at our project settings. So go up to the project tab, and then click project settings. And from there, go ahead and navigate to under display to mouse cursor. Now from here, we can see three different options, custom image, custom image hotspot, and then tool tip position offset. What we're interested in for now is our custom image and custom image hotspot. So I've gone ahead and created a custom cursor uh, as a PNG file with a size of 128 by 128. Now, cursors can have a maximum of 256 by 256. However, for web, um, they are limited to 128 to, by 128. So in this example, I'm using 128 by 128, and that is more than enough uh, for us to have an icon. As you can see here, our cursor icon will be pretty large once we load it in. So all we need to do is click on our file here, and then click on the image that we'd like to use. Okay, and let's close this for now, and let's run our scene, and we can see that we now have this as our icon. However, when we go over the button, it's not exactly triggering where we thought it would. And so if I move it down far enough, we can see the button highlight. And that's because, right, even though our reticle here is a, is a circle with a spot in the center, um, the image itself is a square, and right now the trigger point for this particular image is at 0, 0, which is the top left of the icon. So that's why if we move right the top right over the button, nothing happens, but if we move the top left over the button, then it triggers. So let's go ahead and go back to our project settings, and now we want to set our custom image hotspot to the center of our image. In our instance, since this is 128 by 128 image, that's 64 by 64. Okay, let's go ahead and close this and run our project again. And now, as that center touches the button, the button activates. Okay, so we can also do this through code. So let's go back to our project, go to project settings, and undo all of this. So if we were to run our project again, it's just our standard cursor. Great. So let's go to our node 2D, and we're going to attach a script, and we can call this that's we can call this uh, our, our our cursor icon scene script. That's fine. Okay. So we don't need this process function, and we'll expand this, and we don't need this code either. This uh, these comments either. We'll go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, so what we want to call is input dot set custom mouse cursor. Now, from here, there are three things we can pass in. So that's going to be our image, the shape, which is something we can ignore for now, and then the hotspot. And that's going to be setting where the icon actually triggers things beneath it. So first, let's load in our image. And then we can just pass in our PNG. And now down in our set custom mouse cursor, we can say reticle. And then, right, so we still need to set, we still need to set this parameter. We're just going to set it as, as zero to leave it as its default. And now we need to set our vector. So we're going to say vector two and 64 and 64 since the middle of our image again. Okay, and let's save this, and if we run our scene again, we'll have our icon back, and it'll again be triggering our button where we expect it to be. Now, there's no preferable way to do this, whether it's project settings or through uh, or programmatically in the code. However, you do have more options. Uh, you do have more options 
regarding what the, the custom mouse cursor behavior and so on and so forth and shape uh, doing this programmatically. So whatever your whatever best suits your project is the route uh, to take. However, if you start with one of these methods, for instance, if you do set it through the project settings and later do need that increased functionality that uh, that the code brings, as you can see, it's not significant to switch between um, either implementation. Okay, thank you so much for watching.